Hello everyone. Let me try this again. I was trying to do a video and then my dog started barking. So let's do this one more time. Um, I just want to share with you my latest projects. Um, I am participating on Crafty's um, swap events, which are on Junk Journal chat group. And so here I have my packaging, which is uh, a brown paper bag folded in half. And this one is for the ticket swap. And um, this is the packaging here behind. I have some tickets so they can see it's, you know, for the ticket swap. And just a flower. And then here I made a little tuck spot. And here I put some tickets behind there. I wanted to show you this one. It's very different. Uh, I am fortunate that I found a ticket uh, punch at Tuesday morning. It's called Little Bee. And so I am able to just, you know, punch out as much tickets as I want. The drawback is that then I don't have like numbers to put on there or, you know, I just need to get me some stamps to do that. But my tickets were done in different categories. I have some vintage pictures. I have a floral. I have some C ones, musical. Um, then here, if you can see, uh, this is a butterfly and then here is a ticket out of vellum and then underneath is just the regular floral ticket down here so i did that so that my um, partner can see how she's able to use these vellum ones that i punched out for her and um, i also did some blank ones so she can do with as she wants um as far and also um including some tickets that I received at an ephemera, an ephemera pack. Um, so those are included. So um, I went to the second hand on Tuesday and I found me a roll of these beautiful color pink tickets. So I'm like, yay, some real ones. So I stuck those in there, just a lot of them for her. Um, so there's a pocket here and there's more tickets in there. Um, as you can see the pocket there. And here is, um, I included some of these. I don't remember where I got those. I wanna say Pinterest or a free printable. Um, then I made her um, altered paper clips so she can see how I use my uh, tickets. And basically that's all I use the tickets for, either to you know make uh, altered paper clips or to do as little embellishments there. Um, so they have pockets, some little hidden pockets back here, which are, you know, filled with some extras. I'm sending her some, um, some guest, um, uh, what are they called? Oh, gee whiz, the guest ones. And then I'm sending her some, um, uh, library things. So those are little surprises in there for her, some little extras. So that's for my ticket swap, um. Then I'm also going to participate on the stamped, the stamped one. And this is the packaging for that one. This is a altered um, uh, envelope that Wendy and her adventure she has on her um, YouTube channel. And so that's what I made. Um, on this one and in here you or the uh, my partner will find stamped paper in here and then when you open it up you can see that they are it's made out of three craft envelopes and in each envelope it's the same thing I did different categories I did I found some Pooh Pooh Bear vintage stamps so those are in there as well as, you know, different other um, stamp paper. I also have um, uh, butterflies, flowers, different types of um, stamped. I did some, this is San Francisco Public Library um, vintage library cards that I used as well with some stamping on them. These are the insect ones like dragonfly, butterflies. So including that in there. And then as you can see here, I have those Fiskard's um, 
clean, cl clear, clear stamp. So that's the wording on there. And so I took a couple of papers here and, you know, made um, stamps for her. And then I just give her a little example of how I use those words, um, you know, as an idea. I'm sure she probably already knows what to do with them. <laughs> Uh, then I also made her some um, Patricia Viramontes uh, pockets and then I just stamped the front and I just did some um, sewing around them but you know she can further decorate if she wanted to um, so those are those pockets that you know she can do with as she wishes so I'm really, really excited about all these uh, swaps. You know, Crafty on JJ Chat Group has really good um, swaps. I really enjoy her swaps. Um, oh, and look here. This side has a belly band. And then this is a project too that I started working on. I got inspired by Pat Winters on one of the groups. And hers were round though. They were all round and these are pin tags. Um, and I just had all this different um, scraps that I had that I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna use my scraps up and do that. Then these uh, little tags here, I was doing traveler's notebooks with the laminated covers. So I bought a lot of uh, planning, planning kits, planner kits. Um, so that's what comes in on the planner kits. Um, so I just punched a hole, stamped it with the words, and that's, I used it on there. I got that idea from a fellow crafter when I showed those on, on JJ Chat. Um, so that's for that one. And it, let me show you the rest of the pins that I made. Uh, I thought those were really cute from Pat Winters, but hers were all round. So I just had these, you know, stuff laying around from the planner kits and that's a really cute um, boot there vintage boot and then my crocheted flowers down there and with this little vintage lady i thought it went really well and it's the same thing it's an um, altered envelope uh, by uh, wendy's adventures so um, that's one idea how i used that pen then I also used it to put it on this vellum envelope. So I just, you know, hanged it on there. And this one says dream. So that's on that envelope. And then here's just another, oh, I don't remember. This is for some long ago, but it was already cut out like that, a tag. And so I just added a button with some lace and there it is. Don't know where to put that one yet, but it'll there'll be some use for it. Put that aside. See, I these are the stamp ones. I need to put it in the stamp ones. Then I'm also participated on the the vellum, the vellum envelope um, swap. So I made this one, and this one is four large envelopes. I made the envelopes on my scoreboard um so let's go inside and see what we have so here is the envelope and inside are um one of the vellum envelopes and all my envelopes you know we don't have to but i like to at least include something in there so it doesn't look so empty so i'm including you know little uh, journaling cards inside so here's one and they were, uh, these envelopes actually were made through my Cricut machine. So, see here's a, a belly band. And then here's another envelope. This is using a dictionary. And there's a tag inside. So that's using my Cricut machine. Cutting the vellum. And let's go inside. Here's another envelope in here. I actually embossed this one through my embossing machine, um, my uh, Big Shot. And then it's just some lace with some scrap of flowers and scraps there. So, um, embossed that one. 
Then here is another belly band using musical sheet. And here is a stenciled vellum one. Inspire handmade flower there. And then I used one of my crochet little flowers in the back. And inside is one of the, a journaling card. So that's that one. Then here is another one. Um, my niece gave me all these um, stamps and with the stamps came this little machine that makes the paper uh, corrugated. So corrugated, oh, hope that's the way it's supposed to be pronounced, corrugated paper. So you can't really tell, but the music sheet is corrugated there. And then it's like this. So then, uh, like I said, this has four envelopes, one, two, three, four. And on this last one, it has this envelope, dreams, smaller version. And then here is another one. And I put this in there as a tuck spot. Oops, wrong way. There we go. So then, you know. Oh, I should put lace. It just feels empty there. <laughs> but anyways, that's another one. And um, as you can see, this is um, going to be the packaging for this project here. Or this swap, I should say. And then, oh, here's another vellum envelope oh this one you tucks in there and this one actually i um something came in the packaging of this one and i just kept it so that i can um recycle it so i did some napkin decoupage on there just lace then I also wanted to share with you, I'm jumping in the bandwagon with making your uh, fake homemade paper. So um, I just, all I had was this uh, cute little weed. Um, if you can see that, sorry for moving you guys. But to me, it always reminds me like of a rose. And so I always had this around and you know, that's the only thing I have dried up. So this is just the beginning of it. I really have to go out there and dry some flowers um so hope you guys like it i just wanted to share with you uh go on to jj chat they have some really good events coming and i really like all these so i hope you enjoyed my packaging and i hope my partner as well will enjoy it um so have a great day thank you for watching